Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and you're joining me on a little walk from Ketchell where we're setting out from just now down the towpath and the canal and then cutting across some fields into Ellesmere and this is a regular walk I make over these sorts of mooring points as there's a various stretch of canal where Ellesmere becomes the easiest place to walk through so I cut from various areas, in this case obviously Tetchel, it's only about a mile walk but it is absolutely crammed full of scenery as we're about to see not only because we get to pass this online marina at Tetchel where the boats are literally just moored along the side of the canal here but also because cutting into the fields and with the rapeseed crops being in full bloom basically at this point it just adds to the incredible experience of basically waking up somewhere like this and then getting to go out and play in it so really I don't know if I'm selling this lifestyle or not um, but as you can see I mean when you've got weather like this this was the same day that my little Tetchel walk uh, video was filmed and you can see how the weather again not only have I got the slightly damp boots there but the weather again at this point was as beautiful and perfect as it could possibly be and this is one of those little areas where you see random um, steps down off the canal and off the towpath every now and then, which all lead to little aqueducts where it does, it's not like a grand aqueduct and you wouldn't notice it from, the, from a boat's perspective whatsoever. But when we look here, you'll see that there is this little stream running under the canal itself and all the brick archway built up for the canal to pass over. And there's a lot of these. There are an awful lot of these dotted around the canal that people never really see. And you see often on the uh, fence posts next to the actual uh, steps, it'll say, like, no public access, blah, blah, blah. Because as this one doesn't have one of those signs, I did assume that it was a public footpath as, well, most people would, I assume, because it's exactly how these random styles and steps are placed, just completely at random, basically, or seemingly, along the canal and through fields and just all over the great British countryside, I suppose. And so that's how I first came to go down there and meet that dead end. But I just thought I'd show that as it's just another one of those random fascinating features. You can see this, an absolutely brilliant view of the crops there and again of the storms passing in the distance we've got the windmill there that is mark that's the marker for Tetchel from various uh, points around on the canal or on the roads you can see a couple of these windmills at different places dotted about and this is where we are deviating from the canal and cutting the corner of the canal off where it goes around the corner and then into the main basin at Ellesmere so let ourselves into the field here and if I just have a skip ahead to look what's happening in the video, you can see that we're basically just now cutting across fields directly towards Ellesmere itself, which is pretty much right ahead. You might see there's just that little um, thin tree poking over the top of the hill in the centre of the screen right now. And that's the sort of place we're aiming for, I suppose. The random thing that I just thought I'd throw in here, so you can see just how much the canal does move over to that side. That brick building there in the centre of the screen now that I'm zooming in on is the British Waterways place and I think there's apartments or something in it as well which literally has got the services right next to it and that's on the absolute centre of the Ellesmere Basin itself. On that note I'll wrap things up as I've only got one last field until I'm in Ellesmere so I'll say thanks for watching, check out my other videos for loads more like this of just great scenery and the outdoors in general as well as weekly boating and weekly viking videos. Feel free to add me on Facebook or like the Facebook page and so on and please do consider checking out my books available for the Kindle. Search Amazon for The Narrowboat Lad or find links to those and everything else in the description below. Until the next time though, keep it boat worthy, keep it boot worthy and of course farewell.